Welcome to the series of training for BMC Helix Business Workflows. This is my fifth video in this series. My name is Vaibhav Wadekar. I am Lead Support Architect at BMC Software. Today, I am going to talk about how to view and respond to approval request within BMC Helix Business Workflows. Agenda of this training covers below things. Approving BWF request from BMC Helix Business Workflows Approval Central. Approving BWF request from BMC Digital Workplace Universal Client. Approving BWF request from BMC Digital Workplace Mobile Client. And approving BWF request from email. As you can see that once the case is submitted, from either BMC Helix Business Workflows or from BMC Helix Digital Workplace. The request is sent for an approval to the approver and approver can review the request and based on the outcome, he can either approve, reject or put that approval on hold for some time. So in this particular video, we're going to see uh, once the case is pending at the approver, what are the mediums with which we can approve the request? So as you know, we can approve it through the approval console or digital workplace universal client or mobile client or via emails. As you can see on my screen, I have a screenshot showing the approval central. So once the approver log into BMC Helix business workflows and choose approval, he or she may be able to approve or reject the request from the approval console. The next is via email. Once the approver gets the notification, he will receive an email notification to approve or reject the request. So by clicking on the appropriate button, you can approve or reject or put the approval on hold. The next thing is you can see on my screen is BMC Digital Workplace Universal Client. The approver log into BMC Digital Workplace and within the approval timeline, he or she can approve, reject or put that particular approval on hold. Similar thing, uh, you can see from mobile client as well, the user can log into mobile client and based within the approval timeline, he or she can approve or reject the request. So we're just going to take a look uh, quickly how to submit a case and how the approver can approve the request. As you can see on my screen, I logged into BMC Helix business workflows. Here I'm going to create a case. As you can see, this is how I created case and here I'm going to simply select the template that I would like to use and create the case. Once the case is created, you can see that once I change the status to assign, the approval will get triggered. And here it actually shows Elizabeth Peters is the person that needs to approve this request. As you can see on my screen, I logged into approval console as an approver and here I should be able to see the new request that we have just created. So this is the new request that we just created, Bobby Hill and here you can see that you are the approver and here you can see the case details. Here you can simply approve the request from here. This is one way of approving the request. Now let us look up another example how to do the same operation from digital workplace. On my screen, I'm logging as an end user. So I logged in as an end user on the digital workplace. I'm submitting a request for an PTO. I completed this request, I'm done. In my activity, I can see that the request is in progress. So I logged in as a support agent. And then I, you can see that this request has been created from digital workplace. The status is new. In order to trigger an approval, I just set the status to assign and you can see that the approval has been triggered. Elizabeth Peters is the person who needs to approve the request. Now I can come to digital workplace. Here I log in as Elizabeth and within approval, you can see that we see that this has been requested by and then here I can simply approve or reject the request. This is one way of approving it from digital workplace. Now let us look how do we do the same thing from the mobile client. So as you can see uh, that I logged in as an approver and now I am going to come to the approval. 
Here you can approve or reject the request. And now we have looked uh, how to approve the request from approval console as well as digital workplace universal client as well as mobile client. Please refer the documentation to find more information on how to view and respond to the approval request within BMC Helix business workflows. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.